Yo, what's good everybody? It's Young John, and today I'm going to teach y'all seven iPhone privacy tips to make your iPhone more private and secure from like advertisers. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to your settings, and you're going to scroll down until you get to where it says privacy. On my screen, it's right below the battery. Privacy. And we're going to start all the way from the top of the list. So number one, we're going to tap on location services. Okay. And as you can see, the little white ball thing was off. And then now when it's green, if something's green, that means you have it on. And look at this, App Store. Allow access, allow location access while using the app. Ask next time or never. And that goes for any app. Like even fast food places like Burger King. Allow location access never. Ask next time while using the app or always. And for some apps, like let's say Burger King for example, I keep it on only while using because let's say you want to use uh, coupons that are on an app of a food app. You need to have your location on. For them to know exactly at what fast food place you're at. And then if you click on find mine, you could turn that off. Where it says uh, share my location, you could... Turn all of those off too as well. But normally if you really want to save your battery, just keep all of your location services off like I just did right there. That disables all of them. Now, we're going to go to number two. You're going to tap on where it says microphone. And like I said earlier, the green ones mean they're on. So now I just turned on my microphone on all of my apps, and I don't want that. Why do I want Facebook and Instagram Messenger? All the, why do I want all these apps to ha have my microphone on 24/7? Hell no! Get that the fuck out of here! Keep it on because you can't record a video with audio if it's turned off. So I keep my Snapchat microphone on, and adjust your microphone on your applications however you want. However you think it's appropriate for how you use your phone. And on Instagram, I don't think they let you post on your story unless you have the microphone turned on. Okay, and now we're up to number three. Speech recognition is something else. It doesn't look like I have any apps that use that. Okay, here's number three. The camera. Photos and videos taken with the camera may contain other information such as where and when they were taken and the depth of the field so like I said before green means it's on to the left means it's off so I said why would I want these apps to be able to access my camera for what hell no so, get that the fuck out of here just toggle them to the left to shut them off and as you know snapchat doesn't let you take any pictures unless your camera access is enabled so i'm gonna keep my snapchat on green okay now we're going to number four which is research sensor and data usage Sensor and usage data is sensitive research data that allows apps and studies to access certain important sources of information that are otherwise unavailable. I haven't even turned that thing on. Fine to this day. Like it says enable. To this day. To this I don't day. Recommend enabling. And if you've turned it on before, disable it. All right. Okay. Now we're down up to number five. Analytics and improvement. Share iPhone analytics. 
help Apple improve its products and services by automatically sending daily diagnostics and usage data. Data that may include location information, analytics uses wireless data, share with app developers, off, like improve Siri and dictation, off, iCloud, off, improve health and activity, off, <laughs> improve health he records, he was on off. To us. I keep all that stuff off, man. To this day! And it'll save your battery and you'll get less random advertisements all the time on all of the applications that you use. Improve wheelchair mode? Like, what is that? And if you want all of them completely off, just share iPhone analytics, turn it off altogether. And number six, Apple advertising. The Apple advertising platform does not track you. It is designed to protect your privacy and does not allow you across apps and websites owned by other companies. You have control over how Apple uses your information. Yeah, I, and I keep I, that off too. To this day, ads, keep it off. And last but not least, App Privacy Report. App Privacy Report shows how often apps use the permission you've granted to access your data, like your location or microphone. It also includes a breakdown of each app's networked activity, website network activity, and the most frequently contacted domains. And I've never even turned it on before, and I'm going to keep it that way. To this day! To this day! To this day! If you've turned it on before, I suggest you turn it off. And that's the video, y'all. If y'all found this video helpful, make do me a favor and hit it with a like button. Do me another favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with somebody you know. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out. Peace.